In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Emit Pixie webcam in OBS for live streaming. This is going to be a full setup, so let's not take much time. Let's get into it. First thing you want to make sure you go to emit.com because we need the software called emit studio to be able to set up the webcam obviously you want to make sure you have the webcam already connected to your computer with a usb cable make sure you connect it to a usb 3.0 port with a blue kind of label on it so once the camera is connected mine is already connected no problem uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the software so we go to emit.com and then we're gonna go under support and then go to to download under download you see where it says software download center so we're gonna go there and then once we get here we're gonna scroll down and find uh, the software called emit studio so depending on what operating system you're using if you're using windows you're gonna go ahead and click the windows version if you're using mac go ahead and download the mac version and install it it's super easy to install just follow your normal installing instructions and it's gonna be installed in your computer so once you have installed i already have mine installed I'm gonna go ahead and actually open this so i'm gonna go type in emit so usually when it opens it's gonna look like this and it's going to detect the camera directly now what we need to do here is we need to make sure we actually set up the camera the right way before we can send this image to obs for live streaming now if you go here the first one we're gonna go under control this is basically to control your gimbal you know if you want to move it somewhere make some adjustments so let's say i wanted to make kind of make myself video centered i will go ahead and just do that and the next thing is under standard mode you want to choose if you want it to track you you can go here and then put in tracking mode so basically it's just gonna track you if you don't need the tracking there's no reason to turn around you can just leave it on standard mode because sometimes it can get annoying again you don't want it to be tracking you everywhere you go but unless you need it all right so once you're done you have the zoom here if you want to zoom in a little bit you can use it now zoom doesn't work in 4k only works if you're streaming in full hd now this is where you can set up your resolution by the way if you want to use 720p 1080 2k or 4k in my opinion most of us will probably be using 1080 30 frames per second but if you want to do 4k you can actually go ahead and choose 4k no problem so once you're done setting up things here for audio in most cases i don't recommend using the built-in audio although it still sounds good but it's not as good as having an external microphone so i recommend you get an external microphone like the one that i have or something else but not the built-in microphone all right so next up we're gonna go ahead and go to effects this is where we're gonna do a lot of work to make sure the camera actually does look good so the first thing is we're gonna go to brightness as you can see it's got some of the presets that you can actually use you got default you got bright you got nostalgia you got blues cold vivid right you can actually go ahead and play with this presets and see if there's a preset that you actually like if you see a preset that you like there's no reason to keep changing it in my opinion since you're watching this video i actually go to customize because customize this is where you can actually apply your own settings right that's the whole point that's why you're watching this video okay and then with this the key things that you want to look at first is the white balance you want to make sure your white balance you get right again you can turn off the auto white balance and try to actually dial in your own white balance based on your key light so now my key light is usually 5600 kelvin so i can just go ahead and type in you know the white balance of the color temperature of my key light right and as you can see when i type it in my skin tones becomes a little more natural of course it's you know it's got a little bit of bleeding from my background lights in there but you see my my skin tones it becomes a little more natural okay now another thing is you can go ahead and play with the sharpness usually you want to lower the sharpness when you open it it may be somewhere like 120 something and it could be too sharp so you want to make sure you lower the sharpness so that you know the, your skin is a little smoother all right somewhere around you know between 70 and 80 kind of looks good right now i'm actually using 91 saturation i put it 100 percent the reason why if i go more than 100 percent you can see that it becomes too saturated and the image is not good so you want to keep it low around you know 100 right here for me it kind of looks good again this may depend on you where you're sitting so 
if you need a little bit of saturation of course you can go ahead and make adjustments right contrast this is another thing let's say if i load the contrast you can see that it becomes really bad so i can go ahead and increase the contrast to something like 130 even a little more actually let's say usually the contrast you want to push it until like you see that it's getting too much like as you can see right now it's super super saturated and contrasty so you don't want that so let's say something around 140 kind of looks good to me right and then brightness again this is something that you don't want to add too much of brightness because it's not natural so as you can see at 100 percent you can see oops just 100 percent right you can see that everything changed i, I went to my white balance kind of changed back uh oh I did uh, restore, I changed everything back to default. Okay, I'm gonna have to rework it. Anyways, yeah, so as you can see, when you add too much brightness, it's not good, all right? So you wanna make sure to keep it at 100%, all right? And as you can see so far, again, saturation, I just changed it by accident. So, and the sharpness, we wanna make sure you put it back to 90 something, all right? saturation 101 kind of looks good i put the tone at 128 this is because if i decrease it you can see that the tone is a little weird right so this is another thing that you need to pay attention to just to make sure the skin tone looks as accurate as possible so 128 seemed to be really good in terms of like my skin tone to make sure it reflects the way it's supposed to look yeah and i, I mean like everything else looks good again you can boost the contrast trust a little bit boom and as you can see the image really looks good so right now we have everything set up the next thing we're gonna go ahead and open obs and we're gonna be able to send image right there all right so the first thing we can go ahead and disable the preview and we're gonna go ahead and open obs all right so right now i have a scene that's uh, kind of ready to go i'm gonna hit the plus sign and then choose a video capture device and i'm gonna call it emit click ok and right here under device we're gonna go ahead and choose emit pixie and as you can see it's actually showing up no problem now it's a little too big bigger than my canvas what you need to do you can go here under resolution type choose custom and then we can go ahead and choose the resolution that we want which is 1920 by 1080 and as you can see it's fitting it's looking good no problem and right now as you can see i have added it to obs and as you can see the image is kind of looking good okay now uh my face looks a little too bright maybe again this is something you can actually easily fix you can go here and then you can go under brightness and you can actually lower a little bit and as you can see it's going to adjust the look of your face all right again you can go here and play with the settings another thing is for the autofocus if you go to assistance okay this is where you can choose the type of autofocus now i'll encourage you 100 you keep it on auto af basically you don't have to touch the settings and under face setting basically just gonna track your face so if you can see if I, I try to you know focus on this phone you can see that the autofocus is really really fast and it stays on no problem so if i try to focus on this little thing here you can see that it's focusing on it no problem and as soon as um you know i'm done it's gonna go back to my face so it's gonna keep tracking me no problem okay so now since we have the camera already being used in obs you cannot have the preview here if i try to preview it as you can see it says camera occupied okay so now if you want to show to have the preview here and have the obviously the camera show up in obs at the same time you would have to do it at the beginning and basically in obs instead of choosing the pixie under device you can actually go ahead and choose the image studio camera which is like the virtual camera Camera, right and that will allow you to have the camera being previewed here and obviously to activate the virtual camera you go here hit this uh icon here and then choose okay and it's gonna be really activated and you can go to obs and choose it as an option okay but for most people probably don't need to have two previews available if you have the camera available in obs i don't see why you want to have the preview in the app as well so this should be able to work and you're gonna be able to go live look good using the pixie and obs of course but other than that guys if you want to use the ptz presets i have another short video showing you how to set up the ptz presets so you can have like multiple angles kind of thing you know you have to use a ptz camera you can come from one position to another so if you want to check out that video i'm gonna link it right here make sure to check it out guys and i'll see you there take care